I get asked about clipping masks versus alpha lock all the time and I want to show you a breakdown of what it means and why you should always use clipping masks. Now there's a time and a place for alpha lock. I like that it's an option that you can do, but overall this is going to be better for you to work indestructibly and be able to do things with your art that you intend. So I have some basic layers, nothing too crazy. I just have each one uh, separated by color. Now if I want to do, let's say I want to add some texture to these leaves. Instead of using alpha lock, which you could either tap and tap alpha lock or two fingers swipe to the right and then it creates a little checkerboard here. Instead of doing that, I want to create a clipping mask. Essentially, both of these tools will allow you to draw and only affect the pixels that are on that layer. So I'm going to tap uh, two fingers to undo. I'm going to take alpha lock off and show you that clipping masks do the same thing. If I create a new layer and then with this layer I tap and I uh, select clipping mask, you'll see a little arrow here indicating that it's being clipped to the layer below it. Now I can do the same thing and it's going to only impact that as well. Now the reason why you would want to do this is because if you want to make any edits later, maybe you want to change the color of this one, maybe you don't want some of the texture on there and you want to clean the texture up but not the actual piece. This is where you have two separate layers so that you have the freedom to be able to still do that. If I tap and deselect clipping mask, you can see everything I just drew right here. But when those leaves are on, clipping mask, it's going to only impact the pixels underneath. You can create multiple clipping masks and let's say I had another one here and I'm going to tap and say clipping mask. If I come in and do something else, the layer hierarchy stays the same, so the pink is over the yellow, pink is over the yellow. If I were to, st uh, to swap those, then yellow would be on top. So that all uh, is the same, but it will skip any clipping masks underneath it. So the yellow right now is on top of the pink, but it's still showing in all of the pixels that these leaves are on because this is a clipping mask and this is also a clipping mask. So that is a really easy way to be able to go in. Let's do a new one here. And create any effect that you want without it's spilling over and then you can have that dimension that you're looking for. So that is the clipping mask in a nutshell and you can edit them just like you would any other layer, but the only place it will show up is the layer that it's clipped to.